this unusual event that I have predicted that I don't have a lot of details on that will happen this year. Uh, I believe it involves a major change in the internet. Uh, I believe that this temporary, temporary hiatus is going to be by manufacturer. It's going to be by design. They're going to blame it on something else like a natural disaster, an X flare, EMP activity, terrorist attack, even an AI virus. They have many items in their playbook that they can always uh, go back to. Now, their playbook can even be compartmentalized, meaning they can provide the what happened to whatever's whatever comports with an individual's paradigm. That's the world we're living in now. We're living in a world now where one single major event can occur and all these different personalities can observe the event and the government can officially put out three official reports about what happened and people will actually pick one or two that they believe in instead of thinking about how weird it is that you gave us three choices. You understand? This is mm -hmm. this is the world the world we're entering in is fundamentally different in the world that we left behind 20 years ago. The world we're entering in now is is unraveling. Reality tunnels are coming apart. The AI system that is con oh, the governing system of protocols that controls this construct is 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 becoming more and more amorphous. It is losing its ability to control. And this is why we see so many strange and weird things that don't make sense. This is why so many anomalies are happening all over the world and unfolding. And this is why those who are very well grounded. Those who those who don't buy into all the misinformation and data saturation and just look at reality objectively, they can clearly see the trajectory of events and where we're going. They can clearly see that that this is all almost like a stage play mm -hmm. and that none of this is really real. And every little thing is put out there as a hook trying to hook me in so I can just buy into a reality tunnel so I can start traveling down it. Because once I'm moving in a, in in, in the direction, uh, I can always be molded and my experiences can be conditioned and therefore my interpretation of what, what I'm going through can, can be more subjective. It can be more controlled. So this, this event, I, I believe that's happening this year is going, is going to be systemic. I believe it has everything to do with our telecommunications infrastructure. And because it has everything to do with this infrastructure, it's causally, it's also going to affect the financial infrastructure. Although right. I don't think I don't think the world economies is the focus. Believe me, and I know you can imagine this. Mm -hmm. If a flash appears in the sky, whether it's manufactured by the military industrial complex and they call it an X flare, no matter what, no matter what it is, no matter what the cover story. Mm -hmm. If a flash appears in the sky and the media reports it, and eight minutes later, there isn't a single electronic device working in your home, working anywhere, anywhere in, you know, uh, all the power grids go down at the exact same time. The only things now working are battery operated things. And you don't have much time. I mean, uh, you're going to realize really fast that solar's bullshit. You're going to realize really, you're going to realize really fast that that turbines are bullshit. And you're going to realize really fast that even gas generators are bullshit. Because if nobody's manufacturing uh, gas or or even driving around delivering it to the gas stations, it doesn't take but two days to dry those pumps. They're gone. They're out. Mm -hmm. So, if an event, if there was a, if there's a worldwide internet collapse. Even for just one week, the damage to, to the infrastructure would take six months to a year to heal because of all the all the setbacks, all the repercussions. It's like a, it's like it's like knocking over the first domino. There's no way to stop all the other dominoes from falling, even if the, the infrastructure and power grid comes back up seven days later, there's a tremendous amount of things that should have been functioning that weren't. And now we have to go deal with all these issues as well. It's a it's nightmarish to even think that the worldwide electric grid was to go down for a week. It's nightmarish to think what's going to happen. And there are many scientific think tanks that have put out some pretty good material that, that show these show these scenarios. And uh, there's a guy on YouTube that has a good video about the first 48 hours. It's harrowing. 
If 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 there is a disaster of epic purport, proportion where all of a sudden you wake up in the morning and there's no power and it's not just your community, you can't drive 60 miles and go enjoy the power of your of your of your mom and dad or your da daughters or whatever. It's everywhere. It's ubiquitous. Within, according to these these scientific projections, when people realize after 24 hours that no help is coming, law enforcement has been neutralized, there's mm -hmm. no fire companies coming, the, within 48 hours, all the foodstuffs in all the stores of America will be looted. Within seven days, people will start, neighbors will start hunting each other. Yep. I mean, th these scientific reports are harrowing about uh, what would happen. And uh, yeah, it's it's fast. It's be and it's because people don't keep enough food for an emergency anymore. They always think that they can just run down the road. If I got if I got three thousand in cash hidden away, then uh, I can just if something really bad happens, I can just run down the road when I, when my food starts getting short. Now, according to these scientific reports, he says you had better take your cash and go spend every bit of it within the first forty eight hours because after four or five days, no one's taking cash anymore because every system in the world will switch over to the barter system now. It's about what can you provide and because cash will become useless. No one's taking it anymore. The people realize it, it, all this cash in the world don't mean nothing. It's not going to do me any good. We don't even know if the power's coming back on. So I mean, this is in the event that something unusual is reported. And, and this is how they would control an event like this to induce that panic. They would show it on the national news. International news would show that something unusual just happened. And they would let people talk about it long enough before they just took the whole grid down. So you would automatically assume that the grid came down because of what was reported. So it's uh, they've got all kinds of, uh, of options in their playbook. I don't know how they're going to do it. But, but I believe it's going to be a very temporary cessation of internet access. They might call it a virus and they had to shut it down to clean the servers. I don't know what, how they're going to play this. Sure. But I'm really convinced that when they bring the internet back on, it's going to have some new things in it that we're not going to like. But I'm not convinced that we're going to know they're there. Okay, so a um, couple things. You're seeing this event that you just explained happen this September or October. Is that correct? That's right. And how confident are you in this? Well, it's a... Uh... Because I want to ask you, I want to go two two directions. One, I want to know your confidence level, and uh, the second thing is, if this is the case um, and it doesn't happen, how will you react to that? Well, I mean, no one's accurate. No one's one hundred percent accurate in your predictions, and I have never feared being wrong. I say mm -hmm. that on my channel all the time. Now, my accuracy rating is very, very high high but it's not because i'm doing personal predictions it's because i'm looking at the construct the arithmetic now sure. i am very very convinced that something major is going to happen with the infrastructure and it and i am very convinced of the timing september october what i'm not convinced in is the magnitude I don't know if something can be neutralized by more awareness of, uh, of an event or if uh it's not necessary to create all this chaos to do this one little thing. I'm just convinced that this one little thing changing something about the structure of the internet is going to have massive future repercussions. And it's going to be from an event in September or October. So the way to rewrap this data is that either one, I am predicting some false cataclysm, some some false flag that's used to cover as a cover story to do something to the internet to to introduce something new another another layer of coding that they could have never done while the internet was operating online something they had to do when it, by bringing it down so either either I'm predicting something some major huge epic proportions or something's going to be very very noticeable in September or October to millions of people, not just a small minority, but the majority of people who use the internet for whatever are going to notice something in September or October that is completely novel and absolutely realized to be a new introduction into the internet that changes everything. Either one can be an accurate prediction to the, uh, an accurate unfoldment to the prediction. Okay, so I mean, it sounds like with that being said, you have pr prepared for this then. 
you're currently probably speaking on ways to prepare about this as well. So well, what? Well, on my channel, I, I remind my I remind my viewers, and I have a uh, I have provided data packs in on thumb drives in case the internet goes down, and when it comes back up, a lot of social media is gone. Uh, when it comes back online, a lot of accounts have been deleted. I, I am prepared for that. I have these little flash drives right here, 64 gigabyte flash drives, where I provide thousands of PDFs of old books, more books than you could ever read in your life. Thousands of books for, for people to preserve future libraries. You know, when they bring the infrastructure back on, and I and I have instructions in them where, where you, you need to print this material up uh, and, and have it because the internet's not guaranteed. Now you see how 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 easy it is to disrupt uh, this. I mean, you got to understand, when most of our libraries behind me are all absolutely real books from the 1800s, my whole library, all over the side shelves, oh, I got upper shelves up here in the floor. All these books are from the 1800s up to 1912. Mm -hmm. These are becoming very rare, Jordan. So we're, we're rendering them to all PDFs, and I have thousands of people have sent me, and I've, I've created this digital library. It also has, this also has, thousands of black and white images that I took with my own camera out of all these hundreds of old books, images that Google has never seen. Picture old black and white pictures that are in all these books. I made sure that they're preserved as well. All my books, all my published and unpublished books, hundreds of articles, uh, hundreds of charts that I've drawn, everything is in my in my data pack, and I've distributed it all over the world. People are still ordering them every week. That is my way of preparing. And in the event that the internet goes down, this data that I have amassed in my entire life is distributed for, by multiple people, and the permissions are all in the data that, you know, anything ever happens to archaics and anything happens to the, the infrastructure, you're more than welcome to publish all this in your own language and distribute it in your own culture. If we're sent back to the 1980s when there was no internet, that's fine too. Publish the books, publish the deal. You're free to do whatever you want with the information. So it's a, uh, yeah, that's my way of preparation. It's about all I can do. I don't think it's going to get that serious, but I do believe they're going to take down the internet to introduce something new. They're going to integrate something with the internet that's going to seriously affect everything in the future. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be this year. And we're going to, and we're going to, we're going to notice it. Does that mean the internet's not going to work and we're not going to have our gaming systems? We're not going to have YouTube? No, I believe it's all coming back on, but I believe it's coming back on with something new, something unprecedented. And I'm not opposed to them introducing, introducing a set series of deep learning algorithms that is an attempt at a real AI. So let's get a little specific. You're saying that September or October, have you nailed down maybe a week that it'll happen in? Like, have you gotten a little bit more accurate? No, I haven't really looked that that deep, but uh, I plan on doing a, a video and discussion with with uh, Square Peg. She's going on really deep on on this. Far after I brought it to the public attention, she <laughs> actually ran with the data and has made even more discoveries and all that. It's it, she's she's something else, but uh. Uh, I'm about to do a video with her and then mm -hmm. I can probably email you our conclusions. Because, well, I mean, uh, I have my own, I, I have. She and I, <clears throat> mm -hmm. uh, she and I are going to go deep on that. We might make further discoveries. This is actually something I, I haven't talked about in a while. So most of this is just coming straight out of my head, but, but yeah, it's uh September, October is the only, only definitive timing that I have for this event. Yeah, I've been studying the October time frame, of course, because it's the most popular month for market crashes. And like I said earlier in the podcast, it takes about one year after the end of the Shemitah for the market to bottom. So this is all kind of in alignment for me because it's geopolitical events or chaos that happens, some false flag, whatever, is what leads to the markets having these corrections anyway. So it's not just about money. It's about all things tied together. But the... um later half of October is really promising. There's going to be a full moon, but also there's a there's an eclipse on October 14th, total solar eclipse. And so this a couple, is seven years after that's seven years after the eclipse in 2017 or is what six years? Uh well I haven't actually looked too much into the eclipse of 2017, but the reason why that no. that does matter. That would that would be about six years. Well, when was no. the eclipse? Do you know the date in 2017? No, I don't. Okay. I have it in a video, but I don't know the date. Sure. So, I mean, it was about six, six, it'll be seven years uh, if it happened in October. 
um, or after October, but if it happened before, it'd still be around the six year mark. But 2017 is huge. Um, I did a decode on the Super Bowl, which I don't watch sports. I don't really have much of a desire to, but a lot of people just wanted me to decode it. And a, a part of my decode was 2017 because that was the last Super Bowl that the Eagles, that was the only Super Bowl that the Eagles won. And I was seeing a lot of negative aspects for the Eagles tied to my methodology, which allowed me to determine that the Chiefs would win. But also in 2017 was when Trump became president and the phenomenon attached to him, QAnon, Q is the 17th you know, letter in the alphabet. So I was seeing that there was some 17 and 2017 symbolism tied to all of the events that would be happening this year. And now that you're talking about that eclipse in 2017, it's definitely making me think, um, especially with that being a seven-year cycle, because that's, that's huge whenever you have these... Um, seven-year cycles tied to big events anyways uh that eclipse that happens in october 14th would would be a trigger point for me and in my work personally and then if we go up a little bit later into the month around october 30th pretty much right there at the end that's the 303rd day of the year and if i start to compare the the dates that have been significant thus far in this year i'm um, i'm definitely getting something to happen in later october after that eclipse i would not be surprised if it was uh between the 14th of october through october 30th and that eclipse could be the trigger point 